Good morning, lovely. So I am up and right now I'm literally just chilling because um, I think later on, like I need to do a little bit of shopping. And then on top of that, uh, I literally lost my train of thought just like that. <laughs> so I wanted to update you guys um, because what recently happened was I was taking my usual Pilates class and um, she walked around and she asked me like what my pain points were and stuff for the day because that's what she does with everybody. And I told her I was having some ovary issues that day and she had told me, um, okay, like what moves will hurt you and stuff like that. Um, and I said, uh, the main move that hurts me right now is like a bridge I didn't know that was gonna be like our next workout. So she told me, she was like, let me know if this hurts you. Cause we were like on the little cushiony mat, which it really didn't. It didn't hurt at that point in time. I think it was because I was on a more um, bouncier, cushier surface. Um, and uh, it felt a lot better than me being tabletop. Um, also, if you guys are new here, welcome. I take Pilates usually, so like, then after the class like i started having like little pains and i'm sitting here and i'm thinking like oh that's normal because like i hadn't been to pilates like in maybe like a week or so um and then it went downhill from there so apparently my hydroxyl pinks from what i'm understanding because that's the same spot where i've been feeling the pain it literally is i think in my opinion it's worse because like i'm literally feeling pain every single day i have to be mindful of my caffeine intake i have to be mindful of my um like juice consumption things like that i've literally been like drinking water oh by the way this is my new water bottle let me uh introduce you to her this is the frank green water bottle this is not sponsored by the way but like it's literally helping me to get like my one gallon a day this is 68 ounces so if i fill this up twice that's like maybe i think it's a little over a gallon if i'm doing the math right anyway i digress so i'm literally being mindful of what i eat um what i'm doing i literally was even going to the gym with my boyfriend like usually like two to three times a week I can't even do that right now because I feel like I, I'll pull something or I'll do something wrong and it'll affect that. So what had to happen was I had to schedule an appointment for my, um, for my OBGYN um, Tuesday. So I'm gonna be going there Tuesday and um, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really tired of like peeing peeing lord yeah that too but like <laughs> i'm tired of being in pain um and uh it's just it's really taking a toll on my life like it's i'm i literally like was questioning as to why this was happening to me like i just don't understand but you know with endometriosis and all of that stuff like it's not apparently this is not a very like uncommon situation to happen um I'm actually like switching over doctors it's not that I don't like the doctor that I have now it's just that my sister recommended me her doctor so um it's the same doctor's office we both have like two different doctors and she said She's gonna give it to you straight. She's gonna give you advice as to what she thinks that you should do or what the best possible route of action is to take. And that's what I need. Um, my doctor was pretty much like giving me the reign of making the decision as to what I wanted to do. And honestly, I don't know what to do because I've never been in this situation before. So right now, that's what's gonna have to happen because she actually, um, she would know because she's done my sister's surgery on her ovary before. So, and it's the same one, I think. If I'm remembering correctly, it's the same ovary. So like genetics, fibroids, 
endometriosis. I literally thought I was like maybe home free, but I got genetics on both sides of my family to where we have those types of issues. Um, even if I work out, even if I drink lots of water, like whatever it may be, I guess it was bound to happen and maybe this is a part of the story. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. It's just been like a real pain in the ass, to be honest with you. And it's been hard to function. Like I even like, I wanted to put in some OT at work this week because like some things needed to be done. And I really couldn't even do that because my ovary was literally like knocking me out cold. Like because the pain was so bad and I would lay on a heating pad and I would be out for like hours. And Julian actually watched it one day. And he was like, that heating pad put you out, right? And I'm like, yeah, like I was in pain, pain, pain. Like, uh, I never thought that my channel would turn into a, my ovary and me type of journey, but like, this is literally what it's like becoming. And it's, it's getting on my nerves, to be honest with you, because if you know me, if you know me, I'm not a big fan of sitting still. Yeah, I digress. That's what's going on. Um, I think I'm gonna do target pickup today. Um sorry if you can hear Julian, he's literally like playing the game and stuff. But yeah, I'm just trying to keep in high hopes, high spirits, and make sure that I'm just relaxing, being calm. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. So like if you're having like some ovarian issues like me, so the tea, yes, tea that has been working for me is this roasted dandelion root. This one works really, really well. Um, obviously if you're allergic, double check. I don't want anybody getting sick on my behalf. Um, and then raspberry leaf. It works really, really well. Um, so I got these from Target. They were like $4 and some change each. Sometimes they do have like deals on these traditional medicinal. Oh, that's a mouthful. Traditional medicinals. Um, so definitely check that out. I do have the Senna tea, which I do not touch. I'm going to be honest with you because it make you boo-boo. And literally... It, it hurts so bad like I took it because it said something about it was good for digestion and I didn't realize that senna root or senna like plant is actually actually a natural laxative so <laughs> I did it so you don't have to <laughs> when I tell you I was in the house that day I was in the house that day so it was bad um oh uh oh what I do but I am just chilling right now I'm gonna probably place my target order and i heard that tabitha auntie tab got her stuff out so i think i'm gonna add some of her stuff to my cart and then maybe do like a taste test on here i think that would be fun that way i could tell y'all like what's good what's meh what's not good stuff like that i highly doubt like anything is bad because it's auntie tab <laughs> hello i'm just gonna chill for a little bit longer and then i'm going to do my target pickup and we're off Look terrible. It is ridiculously cold. And it's only 442. It's very weird. I'm going to TJ Maxx because I just I just feel like I just need to splurge. Just the just a smidge. Just a tiny bit. And I think they still have those meringue cookies I like. So I really kind of like want those as well. So going to TJ Maxx. <laughs> So I had to come in because the girl had to go. So 
I went to TJ Maxx. I didn't get that much stuff because like they didn't really have like a lot of decent stuff out. But I ended up getting the Miss Meringue Vanilla Meringue Cookies. These are the ones I usually get. I really like them. And um, it's like seven cookies is like 80 calories. Like, but I only eat like a couple. Also got their birthday cake ones. And these are, oh, they're the same amount of calories, but I never tried these before. So I'm looking forward to that one. And I did see this. I really shouldn't have got this, but like it is what it is. Cause y'all know I like Snoopy. So I got this. It actually comes with socks. I actually want to open this like right now. I'm sure that this is technically like supposed to be a Valentine's Day gift, but whatever. It's, I love Snoopy and I had to because I have the Easter ones. I did not have this one and I just thought it was so cute. Wait till y'all see this. Look, isn't that cute? Please pay no attention to the sink. It is very messy right now. But like, guys, it's adorable. And then it comes with some socks that are like inside the mug. Look. And they got like Snoopy on there. Aww. Yes, I love it. So I had to get it. Ended up doing that. I'm going to wash this mug. Also found this perfume, but I really don't know who this is by. It just says BFF on there, but it smells so good. Mm. It smells really, really good. I don't know who this is by, but this is kind of cool packaging to me, but like it was only 10 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm give it a go. I got this little organizer. It's a stackable one, but I got this for tea because I figured like I can put different teas in like different compartments and stuff, which would be super nice. Um, I did think about getting one of those like really fancy like tea boxes, but I didn't buy it because like I was like, you know what? If I spend fifty dollars on this and it gets jacked up, I'm gonna be really pissed off. So I was like, nope. I'm gonna just get one of these, and it's cute. I do like the acrylic. So, and it was only five bucks for that. It was like five. Actually, it was five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. So it was really nice. Now for the Target haul. So. I got a couple things, actually a lot of things. I got some nutritional yeast. I heard that this is good to get some like protein in, like if you're making like sauces or if you're making, what is it? Dressings, I couldn't think of a word. So dressings, things like that. Um, they say that they're good on like kale chips and crackers and stuff, but I really don't know how I like that. But we will give it a go. I got the Auntie Tab the vegan um i don't know if y'all can see that but it says vegan cilantro lime aioli spread and then i got auntie tabs vegan lemon dill garlic spread this might go on a salad or something i got some salmon because like my plan is to make this salmon salad and i really like this salmon that i get from target is honey chipotle and it's by um sea cuisine love these so i'm gonna be using that to make the salad um i got an onion for the salad oh that was very aggressive got some um grape tomatoes that grape cherry i feel like they kind of the same i forgot i got the other one too i had to make sure the only thing was was that it literally told me they had just ran out of stock of the um butternut squash what was that bisque by Auntie Tab and I was so mad because I really wanted to try that because I like soup and salad and sandwiches and stuff but I'll get it next time this one is the truffle garlic spread I might have to do like a mix of the two try them separately and then do a mix of the two um obviously lotion I ran out of like the moisturizing lotion so I had to get some of that peppermint tea because it's very good for you then I got dried chives and dill weed, AKA dill. Got some sweet peppers. I'm gonna cut these up and put some of these in the salad as well. But I'm gonna do a little taste test with the little aioli and stuff. They say it's good for like roasted vegetables, but I'm sure it's good for raw vegetables too. Then I got some cucumbers for the salad. I got three of them. 
I think I may only use like maybe one or two of these, like, and then save the other one for like other stuff. So I keep that. Got some green onion, romaine hearts, because obviously that's going on the salad. I got two things of baby spinach, because I think I'm gonna like do a mix of romaine and spinach. And so I couldn't get the garlic one. The, the one, I'm gonna put a picture right here, but like I got the other one, but I got this one by Auntie Tab and this one is the vegan dill pickle. I'm excited for this one because dill pickle chips are like really good. And if it's like anything like that, um, then I got this one, which is the vegan sweet and salty organic popcorn. Ah. And then obviously I had to get my um, CSA chips in the line because I really like these. These are made from cassava root, I do believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, cassava flour. So they're a little bit better for you than regular chips. So, but yeah, that is what I got. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna start working on the salad and doing the taste test and stuff. Before I get started making salad, I wanna put my tea in here. I kind of had to like flip the thing to get the sticker off. It'll eventually like come all the way off, but it's it's fine. Um, but I literally have, <laughs> I have all my teas. <laughs> I'm an avid tea and coffee drinker. So like, and I love it. So I, and I mean, I love it to the point of where like, sometimes like I don't even need sugar. Like I don't. So yeah, it's been in this little bin and I feel like I need to get organized. Hopefully like I can get inside of all of these cabinets one day and then do some like organization. Um, but in the meantime, this is what we're gonna do. Oh, I didn't realize there was a little crack right there. That's okay. It was only five bucks. It's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna put these away. I organized it as much as I could. It's easy to like take out and put back in. I think I need another one though. Cause look, <laughs> I got so much, so much tea. I even have the loose leaf, like what? What am I gonna do? And then I got this like gigantic one. I didn't even know that this is like a big one, but if I can open it with one hand, but this is a giant bag. So this is for like, I don't know. But yeah, like I need another one now. So who knows? I may run up there tomorrow. It was like really quick. And if it's like right there, y'all see, I gotta organize this mess. Like I need an over the door, like spice rack. Cause we like our spices in here. So, but yeah. It works. I wonder if I can fit this. I might have to lay these like on top of here to get them to fit, but I don't know. Ma'am, it is not 7.30 yet. She always be yelling at me and it's not even time for her to eat yet. But, hello. It's not time yet. 7.30. Yes, yeah, 7.30. And then she walked away. It's time for a taste test. So I'm gonna use my chip. No, am I? Yeah. So I know that these aren't usually made for chips, but I really wanna taste it first before I decide which one I'm gonna put in the salad and stuff. So, got my siete. Cause I can tell they're talking about this online and I got to try it. I got to. Okay, so I'm gonna try first the cilantro lime aioli spritz. Ooh, y'all see that? The cilantro lime aioli spread. Oh my God, that smells so good. You can smell the like lime, the limey lime-ness of it. And I got lime chips. Ooh, okay. What? 
Oh girl, this about to be used as a dip. taste the cilantro you can taste the lime you literally taste everything and it's vegan literally vegan this don't even taste like it's supposed to be good for me i'm sorry y'all <laughs> this one was good i can't even get to the other two yet i want you tab you done you done did something. This is so good. And I'm trying to stay stray away from like dairy and stuff. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. That is that is a lot of flavor. It's so good. Okay. And then we got the vegan lemon dill garlic spread. It sounds like something my mom would like. I smell the garlic. <laughs> Um, let me get my water bottle because I need to cleanse my palate. Gotta cleanse my palate before I move on to the next one. Here we go. Should have probably did that with these peppers. Mmm. That is surprisingly more lemony than it is garlicky in my opinion. Oh, there's the garlic. <laughs> this okay so my dad's side is lebanese this literally is very close to tomb if you don't know what tomb is here it is it is the best spread in the world you can put that anything i swear so this literally tastes like tomb to me a little bit it's not as garlicky but like that's very close it's like vegan tomb vegan tomb bruh these are my favorite look i haven't even tried her other products yet because they keep getting sold out but these oh baby these about to be on my little favorites list on my target app I'm sorry. I'm like eating it like it's dip and it's aioli. Mm. I can't even choose which one I want to put like in the salad, like the little mix. Excuse me, ma'am. You're going to stop yelling at me. I don't know who you think you are. Okay. Then we've got this one, might be really good. This one is the truffle garlic spread. I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on the very first one. Ooh, that would make a good like french fry dip. I can smell it. It's it's kind of smells like what you, you know, truffle fries in a way. So I'm gonna... Oh, it was literally like, and it was like, psh, with the flavor. That's really good. This one is more chill than the other two, I do think. So if you're not looking for like a nice little, like, like a huge, huge punch of flavor, like right off the rip, this is the one. This will be good for like some type of like French fry dip or something. Oh, and this is a spread. Wait. This is a spread. And this is aioli spread. So you can put these on sandwiches. I'm doing it. I'm putting it in the salad and stuff. These are super good, Auntie Tab. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it says perfect for adding to sandwiches, bowls, or roasted vegetables. Yep, it's going in my salad bowl. For sure. It might be a combination of all three of what I'm going to put in there. When I tell you those flavors are so good, those taste like gourmet, like good. So delicious. 
I'm not a vegan and I'm not a vegetarian, but I'm trying to stray away from dairy and stuff. I never knew that you could make like plant-based stuff that good. Like that tastes really good. So I sold out of the garlic one, which is the purple bag, but I was able to get my hands on these two, which is the dill pickle one and then the sweet and salty. Oh baby, my breath about to be kicking. I gotta try this one because my favorite like Lay's chips are salt and vinegar and then like the ones that have come like close to it are the um dill pickle chips if this is like that this bag gonna be gone this bag is gonna be gone it does smell pickly it's got a little sweetness too <laughs> kiki mm. this one has a little sweetness to it <laughs> Okay. Yes, this has a little sweetness smell. Hmm. So that's interesting because like while you get that little tanginess at the beginning, and you can tell it's got some seasoning on there and stuff. But when you get that little tanginess at the beginning, it kind of chills out. And then you get this nice little sweetness at the end. I like it. It is very pleasant. And to me, this would like around like the time of your period and stuff like that. When you like, I don't know about you guys, but I crave salty sweet stuff. This would kind of like chill my little cravings out, I think. That is very pleasant. I am very surprised. This is a pretty bag. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the bag? Look at the, the gold lettering. Classy and delicious. I'm gonna write that down. We've got the vegan sweet and salty. Me and my mom are big fans of like kettle corn. My mom and I, we like this popcorn. I think it was called like Basics or something like that. And it was by CVS which is like, you guys know CVS, that's like a pharmacy store, like convenience store, whatever. So it came in this long bag and it was literally like only a dollar. And I'm wondering if this is gonna be my new favorite. We'll see because they, they haven't brought it back. They never brought it back and I haven't found a kettle corn that I like yet. Oh, that smells amazing. Wait. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite. But what's weird about it is, is that, has anybody, I don't know if anybody else has tried these, it has this aftertaste. It's like a, I don't know, it's like caramely. Does anybody else taste that or is my taste buds off right now? That's definitely like a caramely flavor. It's really good though. It is really good, but it's like that aftertaste hits you and you're like, caramel? Question mark? This is really good. I would have liked there to be a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit more salt. Like to me, this is giving like more of a sweet popcorn than a salty popcorn, but it's still really good. The bag will be gone. I need to have my mom try this to see what she thinks because I feel like I'm, my mind is saying caramel or something. I don't know hope to get more of the auntie tab line of stuff as you all know i did get the lunch bag um it's the little avocado lunch bag with the magnetic clip like in the center oh so cute and it's affordable y'all like this stuff like i think these bags of chips was like three bucks and some change these were about three bucks just think that it's amazing that she came up with all of this stuff and it's vegan and it's good for you and it's plant-based and it's just it's delicious at the same time because let's just face it and let's just say the facts a lot of plant-based things do not taste like this they don't some of them taste like cardboard trust me i know i literally have tasted stuff like that so yeah this is making me think like if i did go over there to that side of things 
I don't have to, I don't really have to worry because there's stuff that tastes like that. You know what I'm saying? So very, very good. Very good. I feel like I sound like Auntie Tab when I say that. I'm very good. I'm going to make the salad. I'm going to grab all of the ingredients and I'm going to grab a bowl. And I think I'm going to cook the salmon first before I actually do the salad or make the salad. Or I'll like, I'll prep the stuff first and then we'll cook the salmon because it doesn't take that long to cook. Hey guys, so what we think, I think it looks really, really good. I can't wait to like dig in. Mm. Bowl. And I'm gonna grab some here and just put it in there. Oh, it's so good. Auntie Tab's aioli spread in there. Look at that. so good. I need to see if Julian wants some. He may not want these tomatoes though. Want to have fun? <laughs> yes, yes. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, movies. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, hello. Hi, Bubba. 
bumbas. Oh, you want to sit? You want to sit? <laughs> He's so cute. You waiting for daddy. You only love me for like two seconds. You only love me for two seconds. You use me. So I haven't been on here today and that's because the day didn't go necessarily like how we had thought it was gonna go. Like we actually like made a pit stop over to his dad's house and we were just chilling and talking and just having a good time. I don't like putting the camera in like people's faces and whatnot like when we're like talking about like personal things or whatever. So you guys understand that. I really shouldn't have to explain that but you know the internet. But um, we did end up going to Trader Joe's. I'm going to premise this by saying I will never film inside of Trader Joe's because it is so hectic. It's almost like being in traffic. Um, if you've ever been to Trader Joe's, some people just get crazy and they don't know how to drive their cart. And I don't want to be in that situation. So I do have a little haul for you guys because I did get some stuff from, oh, they packed these bags from, uh, Trader Joe's. So I'm going to start with the first bag and we've got some sourdough bread. Um, also got some chicken. I'm going to put these away like while I talk to you guys. Got some chicken. These are the chicken like the little drumsticks. Like these a lot. I actually got these little like fruit drinks. Um, I think you guys have seen me get these before in a video but this right here is the Trader Joe's sparkling pomegranate punch beverage. I'm interested to try this one. I just tried their Honey Crisp Apple Sparkling Beverage. I think that's what it's called, but that one was really good too. So if you ever see those, those are usually sold in singulars. I didn't see them sold like this in a little cartridge container, whatever you want to call it. These, because I haven't had San Pellegrino these in a minute. These are so good. If you guys have never had these before, it's like a sparkling juice, like um, it's like a sparkling Italian drink. This is like the blood orange one, but they do have lemon. And then I think they have the lime one, if I'm remembering correctly. But must, must have. I got some creamy tomato and basil pesto. Or wait. Yeah, I got creamy tomato, basil, and pasta sauce. I got this the last time. Really, really good. Um, I got cacio e pepe. This one is really good if you like that like peppery type of taste on your pasta it's not too peppery don't freak out when i say that so we got some linguine pasta to go with it i got another drink i feel like i got a lot of drinks this time but um i got the strawberry sparkling drink i really wanted to get the watermelon one but i didn't see it on the shelf maybe it's a, I, I don't know what happened i got another bag here <laughs> after this i gotta clean the kitchen too because i am a mess i got these little croissants these are huge they were like three bucks. It's like a dollar for three of these huge croissants. And I can actually like cut these in half. Dude, I got some challah because I haven't had challah for like two years because I barely see it in the stores. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spot. Some grapes because they're cheaper at Trader Joe's for some odd reason. These fruit bars, these are really good. I'm trying to stay away from dairy right now. So... The fact that I found these good, I try. It's weird. I got some cremony, aka Bella mushrooms. I, more drinks. I got the tangerine juice. I also got grapefruit juice. And I got um, limeade. The good thing about these is, is that you can literally like put a splash into your like glass. And then what you could do is um, get some sparkling water and then you could pour it in there. So you get a burst of flavor and then it preserves this a little bit. Um, but you do kind of have to drink these a little bit fast because these do expire like next month. But this is what it is. We got some raspberries and this is the interesting thing that I, find. I know that this is getting really chaotic, but um, 
So I'm, I told you guys I'm staying away from dairy, right? So I actually found some vegan tzatziki dip and I'm very curious to see how it is. And um, you guys can find out in the comments below if it's a thumbs out, thumbs up or thumbs down. So I'm excited. We'll see how this goes. Uh, it says dairy free cream cheese alternative. Water, coconut oil, modified potato starch and contains less than 2% of chickpea protein. We'll see how it tastes. But not least, I got some navel oranges because yeah, we need some fruits in here. We got a lot of vegetables, but we need some fruits. Because if you saw my last haul, like I got like a decent amount of vegetables. But you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching. Um, make sure that you share this video, subscribe. I would love to see you guys here all of the time, but I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video and y'all have a good night now. Peace out. Bye-bye.